Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Zoltac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Super Amp Extreme Edition. So last week we reviewed the RTX 2060 Super from Zotac and it's the mini version and I can tell you it's one of the best performing mini graphics cards you can get right now uh, on the market. As we all know the Super Series from Nvidia is their latest uh, refresh of their original RTX 20 series and features more CUDA cores and a higher clock rate. So with this RTX 2080 Super, it does come with more CUDA cores, a total of 3072 as opposed to the 2144 for the non-Super version. It also comes with a hard base clock rate of 1650 megahertz. but what Zotac have done is that they actually overclocked this GPU to a boot speed of 1875 megahertz. This graphics card also comes with 8GB of GDDR6 RAM on a 256-bit memory bus, but there's been reports that this RAM actually runs a little bit faster than the original RTX 2080. Like with all Zotac Amp and Amp Extreme editions, this card comes with some great features including the power boost and the 16 plus 4 phases and of course you get the Spectra 2 lighting for your RGB effects as well as the Ice Storm 2 cooling with the metal uh, wraparound backplate as well as the uh, active fan control. And if that's not enough for all your overclocking freaks, you can actually take the card further with the Firestorm overclocking software. So what can we expect in terms of performance uh, over the original RTX 2080? Well, let's find out by putting this into our test rig. But before that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. And here we have the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Super Amp Extreme Edition. Let's do a quick unboxing. All right. Nice uh, box with the uh, logo and uh, let's see what's inside. We have uh, an envelope containing uh, the quick installation guide and some information about Zotac's other products. No driver disc, you download that via the uh, website. All right, so we have the graphics card itself. Go there. It's uh, exactly the same size as the RTX 2080 that we uh, reviewed a couple of months ago. It's a very large graphics card, uh, takes in uh, the PCI slot space 2.5, so make sure that you have enough space in your case for that. We'll start off with the uh, top here. You have the nice Zotac logo which lights up and the spectral lighting on the top and the bottom. Uh, and for power, you would need two 8-pin PCIe power right there. And it has a nice metal wraparound backplate that gives it a good um, kind of sturdiness as well as helps with a little bit of uh, heat dissipation. You have the uh, power boost right in the middle there. 16 and plus 4 power phases. Gives you that extra power for your graphics card. All right, let's have a look at the connectivity. We have um, three display port and one HDMI. There's no USB-C. All right. And then uh, this car also has the uh, MV Link connector right here. That gives you a possibility of the SLI configuration in, in two of these, having two of these in there. Very nice. So that's your quick unboxing of the uh, Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Super. So let's put this in our test rig and see how it performs. We'll see you in a bit. When Nvidia announced the uh, Super Series, I was pretty skeptical with its performance over the original RTX 2080. Can a small increase in the number of CUDA cores really make that much of a difference? Well, all I can say is, wow, 
the performance of the Zotac GeForce RTX 2080 Super is truly amazing. This is all thanks to the factory overclocked GPU running at a boot speed of 1875 MHz, along with the increased number of CUDA cores, a total of 3072, as well as the 256 bit memory bus, offering a total bandwidth of 496 GB per second. It also features 8GB of GDDR6 RAM uh, with a memory speed of 15.5GB uh, per second. During our test, it produced an excellent score of 6,688 in Port Royal with a DLSS score of uh, 44.38 frames per second. For Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got a high score of 10,733 and 22,243 respectively. Final Fantasy XV score was also very good at 10,656. This card comes with power boost for stability, as well as Spectra 2 for RGB lighting, and of course the Ice Storm 2 for cooling, with a metal wraparound backplate. I didn't overclock the card, because it was fast enough for me, but if you want to, you can always use the Firestorm software to overclock the card even further. It should reach around about 2000 MHz, but uh, be warned, uh, any overclocking is done at your own risk. Low temperatures reached a high of 74 degrees Celsius, which is quite high, uh, but with Zotac's Ice Storm 2 cooling, along with the triple fans and metal wraparound backplate, uh, it could easily handle it no problem. For those who are after multi-GPU configuration, you're in luck. With the Zotac GeForce RTX 2080 Super, you also get the NVLink connector, and uh, that allows you then to connect up two cards uh, in SLI mode. So in conclusion, the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Super Amp Extreme Edition is an overclocked beast that offers excellent performance but at a price. Still, it's cheaper than the RTX 2080 Ti and you get all of this sub $800. If you're a hardcore gaming enthusiast, then there's no reason not to put this on your shopping list right now. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, this is the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Super Amp Extreme Edition with an overclocked GPU of 1875 MHz, offering great performance but at a price. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually subscribe to our YouTube channel and also visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.